There's a meteor shower that will have sky watchers looking up later this week. As meteorologist John Hickey explains in this week's Sky Watch 16, this one has an interesting history. The Orion and Meteor Shower peaks later this week, and sky watchers in our area should have a great view of it. Like all meteor showers, the Orionids are caused by comet dust debris. I kind of think of it as like the exhaust, the smoky exhaust coming out of a truck or something, leave, you know, leaving a trail behind. And if your car or if you walk through that, you'll you'll interact with the particles in that exhaust. I chatted online with Professor Matt Beakey. He's a physics professor at Juniata College. He tells us that the Orionids are created by Halley's Comet. Halley's Comet wasn't discovered by English astronomer Edmund Halley, but he did calculate its orbit and predict its next appearance. Uh, this was using... Newtonian mechanics in the 1600s, a brand new field of physics, and he was exactly spot on. So it made his fame and made the comet pretty famous too. Like all meteor showers, the Orionids are named from where they appear from in the sky. The Orionids appear to radiate from near the constellation Orion. This hunting figure or this, this mythological figure traces back all the way to the Babylonians. So when we are looking at Orion today, we're seeing the same figure that people four to 5,000 years ago were looking at and thinking of in, in a similar fashion. The Orionids are a longer-lived meteor shower. We've had viewers say they have already seen some bright streaks in the night sky. The fact that there's more than the usual amount of fireballs being reported might mean that we're passing through a part of the of the dust trail, which has a few more larger chunks, and that's certainly worth keeping an eye on. While the science of predicting meteor shower quality is complicated, one major thing working in our favor is a particularly dark night sky, thanks to limited light pollution from the moon. The moon phase will be such that the moon will be hardly an issue at all as far as interfering with the meteor watching. And so it should be, as long as the skies are clear, it should be a good chance to see a number of meteors on Friday morning. The Orionids peak between 1 and 4 in the morning on Friday. Thanks to the dark night sky, we could see as many as 10 to 20 meteors per hour. You don't need any special equipment, just look up. With this week's Skywatch 16, John Hickey, Newswatch 16.